Good morning. <clears throat> My name, as you've heard, is Diane Knowlton, and I am the founder of Friendship Club. I'm sure that you've heard it mentioned several times in the last couple of months that there is something new going on. There were two things that happened in my life that were the instigators to bringing Friendship Club to life. The first was the birth of my daughter, Michelle, a tiny baby with tiny ears. At our first week checkup, her doctor said to get right down to Children's Mercy for blood work to rule out Down syndrome. The blood test did not rule out Down syndrome, but ruled it in. Each person is born with 23 pairs of chromosomes, half from each parent. And for someone with Down syndrome, they end up with three copies of the 21st chromosome. What that really means is that my daughter would learn slower than others, would look different, and be ignored by many. This was in 1990, which I thought was a pretty modern age. <laughs> and her doctor said that there were places to put her. My heart and my mind knew that God didn't make mistakes. Jeremiah 1, 5 says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. God knew Michelle before I did. I considered her my bonus point for being a good mom to my other kids, and I wasn't afraid to go to bat for my child. <clears throat> the other thing that broke our hearts and lives was February 25th, 2003. My first husband sat down to watch the KSU basketball game and when Michelle went downstairs to say goodnight, she yelled up to me, Mom, I can't wake up Daddy. He had gone to heaven. A friend at church said to me that she realized our church didn't have any supports for families with special needs. So she formed a committee, and of course, I was on it. Having seen firsthand that people with disabilities are ignored, disrespected and lonely, I asked that we start a club for them at least once a month. The club would be a place where they would be respected, honored, and loved. We would work on life skills, learn lots of new things, and provide opportunities. At the time we started, we had 15 teenagers, and we called ourselves Teen Club. We did a lot of field trips, made scrapbooks, played games, cooked, did science experiments. We learned how to tap dance with bottle caps ducked to our shoes, <laughs> played indoor baseball, learned how to be clowns, which I don't think Elliot likes that part, <laughs> and make balloon animals. Over the years, our group grew. And we moved to a larger room and we started meeting at night. I served them dinner, provided entertainment, and a safe place for them to be the people that they are. And we changed our name to Friendship Club, thanks to Leslie. The month before the pandemic hit, we had 75 people at our monthly meeting. And I looked at that group and said, we're going to need a bigger room. But then, of course, the pandemic hit and put everything on hold. And during that time, my members emailed me, they texted me, they called me. When are we going to meet again? For some, that friendship club is their only social activity. We tried meeting in a room at Bass Pro, but then they had to change their hours. So that only lasted for one month. Eventually, we got back into the church and began again. 
and we grew again so that we had to move to the biggest room, the gymnasium, with a bigger kitchen so we could have room for dinner and our entertainment or games. We currently have 100 members from all over the greater Kansas City area. We're not just limited to Blue Springs and Grain Valley. These people come from Fort Osage, Odessa, Oak Grove, Grain Valley, Blue Springs, Independence, Raytown, Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas, Olathe, and Grandview. We have touched many lives over the years, and we get new members each month. Some of their parents stay, and I have found some awesome volunteers who help every month. We do a lot of art. Art is a wonderful medium to use for expression. We learn about many artists or forms of art, and then we produce our own artwork, as good as the artist. We've painted, woven, done mosaics, done multimedia, made frames, made Christmas ornaments, and so on. We have also given back to the community because we aren't just there to be given to. We did a landscape project at Nolan Manor. We collected goods for the Community Service League. We made hug pillows and kindness jars for St. Mary's Manor and our loved ones. We collected peanut butter and jelly for Just a Sandwich Homeless program that my friend Julie did. We have had three proms, and this past one in April, we collected 294 items for the Back Snack program here at Faith. This year, the church where we have met for 19 years decided that they were definitely going to sell the building and moved the church to the south site, where they built a school, but no kitchen, and there's only one large room. So I put out a request to the community about where could I move my ministry to. We needed a kitchen, room for at least 100 to 150 people, wheelchair accessible, we have five members in wheelchairs, and hopefully an ice machine, because we kind of spoiled at that point. And when I first talked to Mike, he said, we're getting an ice machine. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> One of our members, Sam Laws, participates in the Backsmack program here. And he said, use my church, meaning faith. I went to the Blue Springs Community Facebook page, and everyone said the same. Check with Faith UMC, talk to Pastor Mike. So I did. And Pastor Mike was so excited for us to use your facilities here. He has been a wonderful help to our program and has come to our meetings the two months that we've been here so far. He loves on my people just like I do. When they gave me a key to get into the church, it was the number 13. I took that as a sign from God because my first husband's birthday was September 13th. I knew that we were home. Our members have all kinds of disabilities, labels. Labels that in school and work lead to individual education plans, self-contained classrooms, services for physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and extra learning adaptations of all kinds. We have Down syndrome, hearing impaired, visually impaired, autism, Asperger's, we have fragile X, cerebral palsy, brain injuries at birth, nonverbal, intellectual disabilities, and some names of syndromes I don't even know. 
And I was telling Mary this earlier, ever since I started, the parents trust me, and that can only be because of God. Because they never asked me, do you know CPR? Do you know how to take care of someone having a seizure? Do you know anything about my child's disability? They just dropped them off, and we had fun. <laughs> when they come to Friendship Club, we leave the labels outside. And they are just my best friends. We eat dinner. We make jokes. We hug. We tease. We are there together, friends of all kinds, having fun and learning new things. Baxter likes to call me the crazy lady. <laughs> These members and their families may have struggled through hard times, fought for services, for medications, for attention, but no one ever thought that God made a mistake in giving them a special child. And God is always with them, no matter what. So Pastor Mike asked me to talk today because the scripture lesson relates to Friendship Club. Matthew 10, 40 to 42 says, Whoever receives me, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives him who sent me. The one who receives the prophet, because he is a prophet, will receive a prophet's reward. And the one who receives a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water, because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, you will by no means lose his reward. The study notes in my Bible says that in verse 42, Jesus may have been referring to those who believe in Jesus with a simple, childlike faith. Faith in the kingdom of God are not limited by age or mental abilities. Some of the strongest faiths I know are in my Friendship Club members. They know Jesus loves them, and they tell everybody they meet. We have a sign that we put up every month that has acronyms for Friendship Club. Fun, radiant, inspiring, energetic, nice, dependable, special, happy, interesting, positive, creative, lively, unique, and blessed. These young adults are my best friends. They are unique, and they are blessed. And I tell all the people who ever come to volunteer that even though their intention is to bless my members, they will be blessed so much more with the love my members give them. If you ever need a hug, come to Friendship Club and you will get at least 50 to 60 of them. <laughs> so Pastor Mike always asks two questions at the end of his sermon, so I want to too. What did Jesus do? Well, he gave these special people to the right parents to love them and raise them, and he knew that not one of these young people are a mistake. He has a purpose for each one of our members. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope. God provides our food, our fun, and helps us respect each person who comes along with us each month. What did I do? 20 years ago, I started a club to be a safe place where young people are loved for who they are, not their labels. And what did you do? Your pastor 
and your church opened the doors to welcome us into your facilities so we could keep on being best friends with our members. God does not make mistakes. He gives us challenges to make us hold on closer to him. If we look at one another with God's eyes, we see past the labels, past the fear of someone different from us, and we see the love that everyone has to share, the love God gives us. So thank you for welcoming us into your fold. You will receive your reward from the Lord.